So, what is it, a 15 minute project? Let's see how that goes. So, 15 minute lathe project. So, first of all, I just want to face that up. This here, by the way, is my other little camera. Okay, so that's faced. And then I just want to get a dimension here for the stem. And I'm going to set that to 15 millimeters. 12, 13, 14, 15. Or oh, somewhere thereabouts. Nothing is. Uh, Nothing's critical on this job. I just want to mark that up if I can do that without nudging the camera. Okay, and then I want to go another 2mm. So 17. And that'll be the uh, flange. Four mil. So we get a twenty-one mil. Twenty-one. There's somewhere there. Like I say, none of this is actually critical. It'll all work good. Okay, so I've got my three little marks turned in there. So I want to turn the first bit down. So let me lock back off. Turn that down to, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come into that line there approximately, I'm just going to set my stop, you haven't got to stop, you haven't got to do this, just come close and then do your final cut, final facing cut, yeah that looks about right. I'm just going to come in, make a nice deep cut. And these are just roughing cuts. Apologies for the noise. Just want to get that brass down to size. be about five or six. So that looks about six mil. Just do a quick measure there. Covered in swarf. So I've just eyeballed that. Don't know what we're at. Let's have a look. Like I say it's not really critical. 5.92 so that's a uh, That'll do me. So I'll just come in again. Just do that finishing cut. Nice and slow this last one. Just to get a good finish. Okay, so now I want to do some finishing cuts. I'm just going to advance, uh, I'm just going to put the lock on in the saddle. Bunch that in a bit. Bring that out. A little bit of cut off the And like I say, nothing's got to be critical. Just want to come up close to that line. Doesn't matter how I leave the, uh, the inside bit there. Okay, so that bit is more or less done. And what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to move the tool post round just to give me a, a sort of angle on there and like I say it's only rough it's only a, as it happens so I'm going to bring that in and this is just going to give me a little bit of sort of a finger finger hold so just 
turn out a little bit of a taper there. And then I'm just going to round that edge off by moving the, uh, the saddle inwards and the uh, cross slide outwards as I do it, just to give me a little bit of a bit of an edge there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to lift that camera up a bit because you can't really see what's going on very easily. So I've done that there, and then what I want to do. Oh, I can bring that um, back round to about square. And then I'm just going to drop this tool out. The tool I've been using, by the way, is just like a, uh, a knife tool. So I'm now going to pop in my uh, just a, a 60 degree chamfer tool I've got there. I could use my back tool post, but uh, it's a bit awkward at the minute with the camera there. So that, and that's just going to give us a nice little chamfer on the end, a little bit more, and I'm also, while I'm here, I'm going to have to chamfer the uh, take my carriage stop back a bit, just a little chamfer on there, okay, so the next thing I need to do, I'm going to part that off actually, so what I'm going to do first, bring my parting tool in, again I need to and see, I'm just going to bring my parting tool in to just about on the line, just eyeballing that. Lock the carriage up. And I'm just going to come in again. The dimensions aren't critical. I'm just going to come in just enough so I can then put my chamfer tool back on. Undo the carriage lock, drop the chamfer in, and then I'm just looking at chamfering the uh, inside out there. Okay, and then all I'm going to do also is just just take a little fracture off that, just so I know that it's uh, it's round essentially, so that I shouldn't get any. Uh, just left a little bit edge. Just put a chamfer on again there on the inside. Should be okay. So now I'm going to part that off completely. I want to give myself about five or six mil. It'll it'll all come off when I do the uh, the turn into a point. So, I'm just going to stop the lathe, just uh, take the carriage lock off, move that back, take the stock out of the chuck, and then I'm going to pop my piece back in, just make sure the jaws are clean. Just give it a little bit of a twist to make sure it's good. Pinch that back up, not too tight because I don't really want to mark it or anything. It should be alright, we're only doing light cuts. And then put your uh, knife tool back in. And then we're going to bring that down to. Again, about that seat. So the next thing I need to do now, we'll bring the carriage back again. Let's get rid of the swarf on there. And now I'm going to um, get the right spinner. I'm now just going to set my uh, top slide. Just 
zoom out a bit. Just let me top slide over to um, sort of about 30 degrees. Again, it's not really critical. So just pinch that back up and get in there without dislodging my camera. Okay, so that's set up now. And this time I'm going to have to move my camera because uh, it's going to be in the way of my in the way of my hand. So that should do. Just pinch that back up. Yeah, you can sort of see that, can't you? You can see this at the other camera. Yep. Okay, so now I'm just going to put that to the point on it. I'm just going to come in a bit. Just take a bit of a cut. And basically, I'm just going to keep that. Keep doing that. Until I get a nice point on the top. slow kind of cut back there. Just bring it down to a point. Okay that looks good. And I'm just going to thin that in a bit out of the fraction. Thin it out. Okay so um, let's put the saddle lock on. Just put that in a touch. Nicely placed. And there we have it. So I can now bring that back. And there you have a nice little spinning top. Although I have marked it actually with the chuck wheel. Hey ho. So there we have it. A nice simple beginner's lathe project in under 15 minutes. Nice and simple. A couple of marks on there from the chuck. Perhaps shouldn't have squeezed it in so tight, but it won't make a lot of difference. And like I say, the sizes are all just approximate. And uh, you know, you, if you want, you can put some little sort of patternations and things like that on it, make it look a bit uh, a bit fancy. Um, like I say, it's a great first lathe project because you don't really have to follow any specific perfect dimensions. Uh, it gives you a little bit of turning experience, different ways, radiuses and chamfers and perhaps some grooving and stuff like that. And obviously uh, turning a taper on the end there, 60 degree taper. And um, you know, there's you can do a round ended if you want. And they're just nice and easy to just knock off on the lathe doesn't take long at all, gives you a little bit of practice. It also hones your skills for uh, making sure that when you do swap it around in the chuck uh, that you've got a nice sort of uh, centered chuck because you know I mean if these are any more than uh, a little bit off center you know that they're not going to spin up very well so uh, great little project. As you can see they're pretty stable. All slightly different designs. Uh, that one's going now. And there it goes. As you can see a nice little project. Bit of fun. Give these to the kids. Well maybe not. 
a blooming joke on them these days. Thanks for watching.